Hi everyone, welcome into this week's My Weekly CBS Fix. This week's parsha is Parsha's Devarim. It is still the nine days, the nine days in which we mourn for the Temple. The Torah tells us, Moshe Rabbeinu is recounting to the Jewish people, it's actually the Book of Rebuke, and Moshe Rabbeinu is recounting to the people at the time that Hashem told them to go and attack the, the Amorites, and they chose not to. Eventually, they wanted to go and attack, and Hashem said, don't do it anymore, you're not going to be successful. And they went anyway, and the Amorites came, and they attacked Israel. And they won. And at the same time, though, Rashi seems to mitigate the victory of the Amorites. And Rashi tells us that the Amorites, any time they even touched the Jewish people, they, they, came, they came and attacked the Jewish people as bees do. And that's what the Torah says. And Rashi says that any time that the Amorites touched the Jewish people, they also dropped. They dropped dead. So even though they may have killed many, many Jews, they themselves had died as well. So the Briskarab explains that imagine fighting somebody who is 20 times stronger than you. You know he's 20 times stronger than you, and you choose to fight him anyway you know that you are going to meet with certain death. So why are you fighting the person? There's absolutely no way that you're going to win. There's only one reason why you might fight that person is because your hatred for that person is even stronger than your logic, which is dictating to you, don't you dare lift, lay, lay a hand against this guy, but you do it anyway because you're driven, you're single-minded, focused against just attacking this person even though it makes zero sense, completely ignoring the consequences. The bee is kind of similar. That's what the Torah says, as bees do. Now, what does that mean? That means the bee, when it's attacked, so all the bee wants to do is attack back. However, the bee is not doing too much thinking. You know, our sages tell us that we always have to learn different things from different animals. And one of the things we learn from the bee is how not to ignore consequences. Now, the bee, so what happens? So the bee was trying to get some honey, he was trying to get some nectar, and instead somebody came along and tried to ruin his day. And so what does he do? He wants to go and attack. And what does the bee do? The bee attacks. And the bee, however, doesn't understand that he is going to die. So why is he attacking? So Hashem put the bee there so that we should learn a lesson from the bee. The bee is not thinking of the consequences, and we have to think of the consequences. And if a person is going to try to beat somebody up that's 20 times stronger than them, you're just attacking the same way a bee does. It's just pure hate. And of course, this is a time for us to think about our hate. And history has shown us that the temple was destroyed because of baseless hatred. And the Talmud points out to us many times that the baseless hatred was the people that were anti-Torah, they were against the Torah sages. And whenever it comes to dealing with hate, you've got to ask yourself, why do I hate? Why does it make sense for anybody to hate a religious Jewish rabbi. For what? what? What exactly do they do wrong? They teach Torah. They give of their time to other people. They give charity. They're teaching other people good things to do. So why should there be any animosity to them at all? There shouldn't be. And they can ask yourself another question. Why should you really hate anyone? How can you be so focused on just hating somebody and act like a bee and completely ignore the consequences of hate? What are the consequences of hate? Everybody knows, nothing too good. Life's not going to be better by hating people. Now, parenthetically, there are people to hate, but those people are people that are do evil, evildoers, and people that sin all the time. But that's one of the people that in your life that you might hate. You hate your brother, you hate your sister, you hate your mother, you hate your father, you hate your kids, you hate your best friend who you grew up with, and now you got to have them talk to each other for three years. Why? All for what? You're ignoring the consequences of how much you yourself are losing out. That is certainly baseless hatred. Baseless hatred is something that we have to work on. So don't be like the bee that ignores the consequences. The bee is automatically going to die when it stings. This thing hurts. The sting of, of hate hurts even more because that separates us. Definitely doesn't do anything good for your life. So this is the time that we have to work on that. Have a great job. Thank you for listening.